Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Cowboys Drafts Looking back at the 2019 draft, five years later. It's been five years since the 2019 NFL draft. It's a good point to look back and see just how much the use of those picks benefited a team. How much did those players contribute? Who's still here, if anybody? We're looking back today to evaluate the overall impact of the Dallas Cowboys 2019 class. It takes time to know just how profitable a draft class is for any NFL team. Some let you know pretty quickly, like we're enjoying right now with Tyler Smith, Darren Bland, and Jake Ferguson from the 2022 class. Others may take longer to cook, we still don't know what to make of anyone from last year's group. That's why five years, with rookie contracts and fifth-year options all expired, makes for a good touch point. Let's look back, pick by pick, to see how the Cowboys used their picks and attempts to improve their roster and compete. The Cowboys' 2019 class is an interesting one because the first-round pick was used about six months earlier in the trade for veteran W.R. Amari Cooper. Ultimately, drafts are about using assets to acquire talent. While Cooper isn't part of that rookie group, you still have to weigh the impact of that trade when grading the draft overall. Dallas gambled in the 2018 offseason by dumping star W.R. Des Bryant without adding any significant new talent at the position. While Bryant was in decline at this point, Cole Beasley and Terrence Williams were hardly W.R. 1 material. Neither were veteran retreads Alan Hearns and Tavon Austin, who the team picked up that spring. The Cowboys paid for their negligence with a sputtering offense and a 3-4 start to the season. Over there by week, Dallas sent their 2019 first-rounder to the Raiders for Cooper. They actually dropped to 3-5 in his first game but then went 7-1 to finish the year, make the playoffs, and advanced to the divisional round with a postseason victory over the Seahawks. Mailbag, are Cowboys waiting to see Lance? Nick Eatman, I'm sure the Cowboys would never say it that way. But I think there's some truth to that. More than anything, let's remember how this team operates with contracts. Unless, the deal just makes a lot of sense and they want to go ahead, they really don't rush to sign their own players if there's no deadline. That's not to say they wait until the last hour every time, but if there's not a pressing need to do it, then they typically wait. It's really the same philosophy we see on draft day. They know who they want to pick, but they like to wait and use all of the time on the clock just to see if the situation changes. And it's no different here. I think they're waiting on a few things regarding Dak, and one of them could be Lance and how he plays. The other is probably Dak and how this season goes. So if they don't feel the need to get it done before we start camp, then I could say this playing out into the regular season and maybe all the way until the end. How Lance performs is a factor, but not the only one. Kurt Daniels, more and more that kind of seems to be the case, but how exactly will it work? What if Lance shines in the preseason? Do you then hand the reins back over to Prescott once the regular season starts? Do you bench last season's MVP runner-up just to see how Lance handles things when the games are for real and all the starters are actually playing? And what if Lance isn't what they hoped? Is Prescott going to be thrilled about re-signing with a team that showed no confidence? Then where does that leave Dallas? Back at square one and facing potential quarterback purgatory? There's really no way to see what they truly have in Lance without it affecting Prescott somehow, meaning the Cowboys may not have the luxury of waiting to see. Their hand could be forced where they have to pick one or the other and live with it. Hope for the best with the cheaper option, or pay the hefty salary of a top-10 quarterback. It seems an impossible situation, and makes you wonder if they now regret giving up that fourth-round pick to acquire Lance. Cowboys predicted to add elite talent college RB in 2025. The Dallas Cowboys RB group has seen significant turnover over the past two years, and that trend could continue into the foreseeable future. Dallas brought Ezekiel Elliott back into the fray this offseason, but also signed veteran RB Royce Freeman. 
But in terms of moves after this season, ESPN analyst Matt Miller wrote that the team will look for a young star to lead the group, RB Quinchin Judkins. Judkins has been a standout for Ole Miss but is expected to be a national star for Ohio State in 2024. We're back to running backs in the first round. Miller wrote in his July 2 early mock draft. Judkins has elite talent, and Dallas ignored the position throughout this offseason beyond a reunion with 29-year-old Ezekiel Elliott. Judkins rushed for 2,725 yards and scored 31 rushing touchdowns over two years with Ole Miss before transferring to Ohio State. He will share carries with Trayvon Henderson there, but the new Buckeye has Heisman-level talent and the burst and balance to be a great NFL running back. Judkins is an exciting player and should only get better in his new role with Ohio State. Considering that there are no apparent long-term leaders in the Cowboys' RB group, selecting Judkins makes sense. Through two years of college ball, Judkins looks like the full package. The college junior is not just putting up high-volume stats, but he's averaging five yards a carry while doing so. According to Sports Reference, Judkins totaled 1,567 rushing yards as a freshman in 2022. He then followed up with 1,158 rushing yards in 2023. His drop in total yards correlated to Ole Miss leaning into its passing offense and QB Jackson Dart. But what has not wavered is Judkins' nose for the end zone. After 17 touchdowns for the Rebels in 2022, the 20 year old added another 17 last fall. By transferring to Ohio State, Judkins will be joining a school in the front running for a national championship. The only thing missing from the RB's resume is a conference and national trophy, and there's reason to think he'll obtain those with the Buckeyes. Judkins is an option for the 2025 NFL draft, but the Cowboys could still add reinforcements before the 2024 season. Bleacher Report writer for Christopher Knox, signing Dalvin Cook seems like the right move for Dallas. Adding another back to the mix would be sensible because if the offense doesn't have balance, Prescott is going to face a lot of pressure, Knox wrote on June 24. It would behoove the Cowboys to at least kick the tires on Dalvin Cook. The four-time pro bowler appeared to lose a step in 2022 and struggled to get on the field in 2023. If Cook is available for cheap, it's worth considering but Spotrack estimated that Dallas was $20 million over the salary cap for this year. Even getting Cook for $2 million to $5 million this season is tough to budget considering where the Cowboys are at financially. Dallas could always make moves to open up space, but Cook or any other free agency RB probably wouldn't work. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Quinchin Judkins? Leave your opinion in the comments.